97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Hello, my name is Vivian Kai Loco. Welcome to Business Weekly on City TV, a roundup of all the big stories that made news in the world of business. And of course, we bring you in depth analysis of these business stories. And in our very first story, we will look at the implementation of the ECOWAS Common External Tariffs. Now, the Ghana Revenue Authority has ruled out it will not put on hold the implementation. Now, the implementation of this tariff took effect on the 1st of February, that was this Monday. It faced a lot of agitations from industry players. For example, the Importers and Exporters Association have punched holes into this new tariff, saying it will only cripple their business. Also, the Ghana Union of Traders Association, that is GUTA, is also claiming that the implementation of this tariff will only leave them bankrupt. But the Ghana Revenue Authority says, no, we are not putting it on hold. So what is the ECOWAS Common External Tariff? Now, it is levies or new rates on tariffs that we'll see, for example, on essential services, on particular goods and services. Now, the rates will vary from 0 to 20%. Now, the implementation of this tariff was first announced in the 2016 budget by Finance Minister Seth Tekwe after President Mahama, together with his colleagues in the ECOWAS sub-region, agreed that this common tariff should be implemented across board. And let's still stay with taxes as well as the uh, ECOWAS CET and shocking revelation. It turns out that government didn't actually withdraw the 20% import tax on mobile handsets and accessories. Now this week it emerged that despite announcement by the Finance Minister Seth Tekwe that that tax should have been removed in 2015 the Ghana Revenue Authority is still implementing the tax. It turns out that the tax is still implementation because we signed on to the ECOWAS Common External Tariff. But the interesting thing about that development is instead of the 20%, the GRA has slashed it to 10%. And to other business stories, and as expected, Finance Minister Seth Tekwe will be heading back to Parliament to get lawmakers to review his earlier projections he made for all your revenue for this year. Now, Finance Minister Seth Tekwe in the 2016 budget statement said the country would use $53 a barrel to make its projections for all your revenue. But as you're aware, um, prices of oil have been dropping currently at about $30 a barrel. There have been concerns raised about Sir Tekpe's projections. The Finance um, Committee, for example, the minority members in there had earlier said the Finance Minister should come back to Parliament to review the projections. But City Business News has gathered Cabinet is currently in talks to deal with the matter and is likely to now peg the price at about $44 for the revenue projections for 2016 that is with oil and let's move on to some other business stories and specifically to the power industry where the Tema oil refinery is to begin operation soon now so the business news has lent the refinery is likely to commence operations by the end of this month that is February now that refinery has shut down on countless occasions due to a number of reasons, including operational and financial challenges. And to some other stories, the Ameri Power Plant finally has also begun operations. It began commercial operations this week, specifically on Tuesday. And before we go on the business weekly, the Transport Ministry is expected to announce a partner, that's a new one, for the new national airline this March. Now PricewaterhouseCoopers, that is a transaction advisors for the new national airline, earlier told City Business News it prefers Qatar Airlines to partner government for that new airline. Now other names have come up including Delta Airlines as well as South African Airlines. So we'll look to see who will finally be chosen for the new national airline in March this year. And that's it for Business Weekly on City TV. My name is Vivian Kai Loco. It's been great having you with me. Join me next week as we explore further stories that will make the headlines in the world of business.